Welcome everyone, Arkan Court. Uh, previous uh, video in 6.1, uh, before starting this 6.1, uh, what's tangent? I already told what is arc, what's uh, chord. So, arc is the curve on the circle, let's say that's AB, that's an arc. So, for this arc, the measure of an arc, so we will talk about its measure. Measure of an arc is equal to measure of central angle. So, plus the measure of a circle is 360 and the measure of a semicircle is 180. These are some information. If you talk about full circle is 360. If you draw a diameter here, so this part will be 180. So, if this is 50, this must be 50 degrees. These are equal. So measure of the arc is uh, angle. If it's 45 degrees, that must be 45 degrees. So central angle and uh, it's equal to arcs, measure of arcs. Okay. It's in a circle or congruent circle. Congruent uh, central angles intercept congruent chords. So, very interesting. What we call it? Congruent central angle intercept congruent chords. Congruent chords have congruent central angle. Congruent arcs have congruent intercept chords. Congruent chords. There are lots of things written, so let's explain them one by one. Okay, let's continue with application. Let's draw a circle. That's a good circle. Okay. Let's draw two angles. Let's say these are two central angles. So what's the central angle here? One of them is 68, the other is 68. It's very good. So what do we say? Central angles, congruent central angles intercept congruent chords. So they intercept congruent chords. This means, let's make the color blue to make sure. If I draw a chord from here to that side, so and he from here to that one, these uh, chords are congruent. These two chords are congruent. That's the first one. If both angles are congruent, the chords are congruent. Of course, if these both angles are congruent, by the same idea. By the same idea, the arcs are congruent. So, which two arcs? That one and that one. This and that. Okay. Let's change the color to the visible red. Okay. And let's change the color of to the visible red. That one. Okay. As this, the chords are congruent, arcs are congruent. Central angles are congruent, arcs are okay, equal, and the chords are congruent too. That's the whole story. Let's put it here. Oops, that one. What does it say? Congruent central angles, that's 68, 68. It can be an angle, it doesn't matter, 68, 65, it doesn't matter. If the angles are congruent, so the chords are congruent. The congruent chords, so they are the same idea, they will have congruent central angles, like arcs are same, central angles same, chords are same, central angles are same. Arcs are congruent, chords are congruent, that's all. So let's write on it, that's equal to that one, if this is true, this must be true. If this is true, so x must be true too. And we saw some examples, it makes sense a little. There are lots of things written again. I don't want to kill my time reading that one, but uh, let's check a little. In a circle, if the diameter or radius is perpendicular to chord, then it bisects the chord. So if radius or diameter is perpendicular to chord, that means it's bisect. Bisect means so from C to this point. These two will be equal. In a circle, each diameter that bisect chord is perpendicular. If it's bisected, that must be 90 degrees. 
in a circle the perpendicular bisector of a chord intersect the circle in diameter so if we draw a perpendicular bisector of CB it must be passed through the center that's the idea let's solve some examples to uh, until now it doesn't make maybe any sense for you let's solve some examples so it's a little more clear uh, I hope the circle is divided into eight congruent parts so these are the congruent parts find the measure of each arc to find the measure of each arc I need to find the measure of central angle so if I cut it from the center 8 equal part and if I draw that one it will be octagon a regular, regular octagon but and we know how to calculate central angle of a regular octagon that's the first way or full circle 360 all of them 300 hey this color is not clear sorry full circle 360 and it's divided into eight cool part to find the measure of one part i can divide by eight 360 divided by eight it's equal 45 so central angle is 45 so each arc 45 each arc is 45 BC, where is the BC? B to C. What is it? It's equal 45. CDH. So CDH means there is an arc, it passes from it starts from C, pass through to D and go to H. C sorry, it's not visible. Let's change the things. C D H that one, this arc. So if this is 45, this is another 45. Together it makes 90, it's equal 90 degrees. H and B. H and B, it start at H, pass through the N, and go to B here. Oh, very large arc. H, pass through the N, go to B. So that's a common of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's equal 5 times 45, 225. That's how we calculate central angle and how we call the measure of the arcs that's another question RS what is the length of the R S I assume 5 is P to this one by the other way 5 times 2 10 because it's a perpendicular so 5 and 5 RS equal to 10 but I don't assume that one. Why? It's a very, very easy question. Probably then uh, it's that's 5, that's 8. If this is 5 and this is 8, let's say this is x. We don't know. If I put a radius here, as you see, that's radius and that will be equal to that one. So 13. 5 plus 8 is radius. So ps equal to 13. What is the this value of x? We can use Pythagorean theorem 13 squared equal 5 squared plus x squared so that's the hypotenuse 13 squared equal so 169 it's equal 25 plus x squared so x squared equal 169 minus 25 x squared equal 144 x equal 12 you can say x equal 12 or negative 12 but distance cannot be negative x equal 12 so from that point to the S is 12 and here another 12 together 12 plus 12 24 so RS equal 2 times 12 it's equal 24 another example that's given 21 so this question asking DF so how can I find this angle so that's 90 degrees that's 51 so all of them 180 90 plus 51 plus let's say this is x x plus 90 plus 51 it's equal 180 so x equal if you do the mathematics 90 plus 51 141 x equal 39 I find x what is the question d f D, this arc 
Bf. So that's 90 because of the until de is 90. So that's 39. Df equal 90 plus 39 is equal 129. Deb. So Deb. That's mean we are talking about an arc that start D, pass through the E, and go until B. So how can I calculate that one? That's all 180 plus 90. So that's the uh, central angle from 180 and 90 to 270. That's equal to 270 degrees. Same, very similar question. Very similar question. JL. JL. So to calculate JL, I need to find this central uh, tendency. So 180 minus 72, it's going to be the JL. Sorry, measure of JL. 180 minus 72, 108. That's the JL. HJK. So H. J, K, that's the question here. I know semicircle is 180 minus 30, so it's equal 180 minus 30, 150. Okay, the circles are congruent. When the circles are congruent and the arcs are given congruent, as you see, measure of E, B, F, this is the question. The congruent circle, so the arcs are congruent, this means minus 9x equal 45 minus 6x. So plus 6x plus 6x, 3x equal 45, x equal, sorry, minus 3x equal 45, x equal minus 15. So the question asking about EBF, this angle, so a measure of EBF. It's equal minus 9 times minus 15. That's negative time negative will be positive. 135 degrees. 9 times 15, 135. I had lots of examples for this section. Okay, keep... As you see, these angles are given. QP, R, RPS, these two angles are given congruent. What we know? Congruent. If the angles are congruent, chords are congruent. So, QR and SR are congruent. What can I say here? 8Y minus 8 equals 6Y. 2Y minus 8 equals 0. 2Y equals 8. Y equals 4. What is the question? RQ. So, RQ, measure of RQ is equal 8Y minus 8. 8 times 4 minus 8, 32 minus 8, what's 32 minus 8? 24. So that's a 24. Multiple choice question in this circle CD equal 10. Uh, if the CD equal 10, so that's a perpendicular bisector, it must be bisect the chord. Uh, it's passed through, so it's a radius, so radius must be perpendicular. If, uh, Perpendicular, that means it's bisector of the CD. Let's write 5 and 5. AE is asking about this one X. So 6, 5, and X. Uh, we can use here Pythagorean theorem 6 squared equal X squared plus 5 squared. 36 equal X squared plus 25. X squared equal 11. So minus 25 minus 25. Use the square root x equals square root of 11. So, let's use 4 square root 16. So, square root of 16 is 4 square. So, it must be less than 4. Which number is less than 4? A is 3.3. And I'm sure uh, we will learn how to find approximately value of the square root. That's the last question. MDC, measure of angle D. A C that's measure of angle DAC 112 that's given that's all 112 if it's 112 and I know that's an isosceles triangle because these two are equal and 
these are radius 6 and 6 that must be angle bisector so AB is angle bisector of DAC let's make it clear a little okay. as you see that's 6 and that's 6 these are radius 6 cm that's an isosceles triangle what we know about isosceles triangle if perpendicular bisector at the same time angle bisector so these two angles are equal half of the 112 is equal 56 that's 56 that 56 what is the question BD how can I calculate BD BD equal central angle so 56 measure of BD it's equal 56 and that's end of the this long video uh, it's sorry it's been a long again I don't want to record all video but there are lots of details I hope that makes a little sense thanks for listening